I'm Bianca, I'm a senior conference ambassador and I will be showing you Futural today. Hi, my name is Josie, I'm the CRE for uh, Futural Hall. Awesome. My name is McKenna Parsons, I'm an intern here for housing. I'm Scott Parker, I work for housing. Right now, right now we're outside of Futural. This is kind of called the courtyard. Uh, we have a lot of near sites around, like the bookstore, which is kind of covered by trees, but it is right there. Uh, you can get books there. Upstairs is like kind of like books, school supplies, all that kind of stuff. Downstairs is like a little merch store. So if you want some merch, that'd be the downstairs. There's also a coffee shop, a tech store down there. So it's really nice. Also, if you continue this strip, there's a Walmart on campus. It's small. It only really has like food and like toiletry and stuff like that. So very small things there in case you need something right on the spot. That Walmart on campus is very great. So we're gonna continue to Inside Futural, awesome. So what part of campus are we kind of on right now? Up the hill. Up the hill, yeah. So I call it up the hill. Up the hill, hill, north side. In central. <laughs> I do not have a key. Beautiful, thank you. I know the south is honeycomb, but what is this? This is north. Um, so technically we are in the dog room So if we're going to continue this way, so over here is kind of the first floor, kind of central area, there's a TV, you can rent out like games and stuff if you want to hang, there's a little center here for if you want to do a little studying with your friends. There's also a piano in there. Yeah, it's hidden. Oh, there's a small <laughs> piano in there. But yeah, this essential area, you can definitely study in here, chill with friends, talk, have fun. Not too much fun, but fun. And it continues back here. This is all the first floor. And before we get downstairs, we're going to introduce the desk. So at desk, you if you have questions, you go over there. A lot of RAs actually work at desk at like nighttime, so in case something happens, you can definitely contact desk. Um, you can get equipment at desk, so like ping pong, you know, pool, cues things like that. Mail is not at Futuros. Actually, you want to go to Holcomb, which is the neighborhood uh, dorm that's right next to, they're kind of connected, but not like actually connected, you can't mm -hmm. walk through it. But this would be if you have any questions or things like that. Um, throughout the year, you come here, lock out, and we'll actually call CA, I mean RM. Maybe. So these are just pretty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, just, they're just there. You have to get it at Holcomb if you have packages. Uh, all the addresses and stuff like that for Holcomb is on housing. So and start sending stuff when you get here. And we're gonna go to the best part, in my opinion, downstairs, the dungeon. The cool room, yeah. Do you wanna talk a little bit about laundry? Laundry, so I was gonna do it when we get to the room. Oh, that's but fine. This uh, this, <laughs> this is kind of the cool room. I call it the cool room. I don't know. I think it looked cool. Uh, but you can, again, this is more of a hangout area. Again, we have the ping pong table, the pool table, a TV, a little gathering area, a little big old counter if you want some food out. And then over here, if you go down here, we have a kitchen, a lot of vending machines. You know, if you're hungry at 1 a.m., you can come down here and get a, bit, get a snack. A little cooking area. Again, you can get equipment at the desk. So. If you need a pot or a pan or a mug, that's all at desk. Um, yeah. Someone asked, they saw that Futural is open during breaks. Does that include the October fall break? Do you know? It, usually it does include uh, the fall break and October break, but that changes by year. And so you'll have to wait for the announcement, but that'll come pretty early on during the school year. Uh, and if you have any concerns, questions, things like that, you can definitely email housing. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, this is what I call the cool room. I like to be down here. It's nice and cool. They've AC. even got a movie room, which right now yes. is not open. <laughs> not but open. back in the corner over there, there's nice lounge chairs and a big screen. And you can movie right there. True. You don't need a movie room. That's you another spot right you could do it. <laughs> you could movie right there. <laughs> right there. Um, outside right here, if you were to walk out these doors, there's a little courtyard. It's kind of under construction a little bit, but... You definitely sit out here. If it's nice outside, you can do homework out there, tan out there. I mean, people like to tan outside, so. Right here, we have the laundry room. I'll walk in a little, it's a little loud. Comes with the ice machine, six dryers, five 
washers. Next year we'll be doing a paid cycle, so you get two free washers, uh, washing, and two free drying, and then after that it's going to be 150 for every extra cycle. Mm -hmm. um, and if you download Speed Queen, you can get that all set up. But don't make your own account. You will already have an account made for you. You just need to use your school stuff to sign in. Mm -hmm. Yep, you are. Lovely. And now we're ready to go to the, what everyone's been waiting for. We can kind of see the courtyard here too. Very fun. And we will go to the room, which I think is what everyone's here to see. Medical needs. Um, they have a women's center, you know, general if you have the flu. Uh, things like that. Again, the Walmart on campus is very close. You can just walk over there and get you some soup if you need soup for some reason. Let's While we're here, we can measure it for you. And if there's any questions we can't get to, that's where you'll go to housing.uark.edu and you can measure it yourself in our Concept 3D virtual tour that we have of all of the dorms. I mean, you can put a fridge right here, a mini fridge. Put a little, I would put my cups up here. And I on the hot spot at some point. Are we on? I think you're on now. But the events held here, you can go to Holcomb and Futural because they're so close, which is like twice as much fun, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of events throughout the year in each community. Events or something? No? All right. <laughs> but yeah, I remember my RA, we would have a bunch of events like donut day, pie day. You didn't pie anyone, you just ate pie. <laughs> <laughs> and things like that. So it's very fun. You get to meet people. It's very close by. Then you'll have a roommate. So. You'll get to know each other well, being in the same room. <laughs> so, and I have seen an event where we pied people. We got to pie our A's. You pie our Yeah, oh, it was great. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but again, I mean, I would even no, I'm not. I'd be asking to make them give their events too. No, I'm just uh, but yeah, it's very accessible. You have Fulbright, which is nice. Which beds are Twin XL and just Twin? I thought they're. Is this one the XL and this is long? Okay, similar with uh, Palm Brick. So, Twin XL is the one by the window, and then the one by the door is a twin. Yes. So, you'll see that on when you're in your housing, if you're in A and B side. Um, but the longer one is usually by the window. Good clarification. I think we had one more. Can the beds in the rooms be bunked? Be bunked. They absolutely can. You can get, you can get a second one of these. <laughs> This wooden, and stack it on top. Yeah. Ooh, hello. You can stack it on top, and the bed can go twice this height, all the way up. And when you go all the way up, the, the desk can go under. You can put storage. There's so many options when you loft your bed. Maybe bring a cozy chair to study in. Man, yeah, that's scary. <laughs> it's up there, but you can definitely loft it all the way. So that's what a lot of people like to do. Nail here and like yes. Together. Yes, yeah. Uh, that, you have to pay for that? Uh, maintenance, I am not sure about the cost. I would check the housing website, but if you want your bed lofted and you're unsure about doing it yourself, don't want to damage the bed and potentially be fined, mm -hmm. you can always ask maintenance um, by putting in like a fix it request or a York maintenance request. If you just Google that, it's one of the first uh, options. And then plugging all your info in and they'll do it for you. Yes. So you don't have to do it by yourself. Which is very nice, very yeah. helpful. Let's see, we might have another question. Which bed is A and which is B? Do we know that? Yeah, so I believe that it would be the similar to palm for it. Yeah. So A, correct? And then I think this is B, yeah. B, yeah. I don't know, I kind of, when I moved in, I just picked a bed. <laughs> I mean, first, yeah. that's what we did in my roommate. We just picked, I picked the window on the side. I didn't even know it was a difference. Um, Technically, when you pick your room, you do also pick a side of yeah. the room. Yeah, so this is A. This is B, and B is the one by the window that will be an XL yeah. bed. And there's diagrams on the housing website as well to tell you a little bit more about like the beds that are XL, the exact beds in your room, um, your exact bed space that you're assigned to. Mm -hmm. um, that can be found online uh, just in case you have 
more questions. Yes, your housing portal. And as always, these lives will be saved. It'll be under Reels on our Instagram account and on YouTube as well later this month. So you can definitely watch this back um, since I see some people asking about that. And another cool thing is you can have a lock on your door. Yes. In case you have anything private. Sure. So someone asked um, when the bed is raised, not lofted. So I'm assuming they mean as high as mm -hmm. this. How much space under the bed will there be? Hmm. Do we have the measuring tool, Scott? I would go from maybe the um, second rung here uh, because there's also going to be the metal pole. So from there, I'd put it a little bit lower. Right yeah. About two feet, seven inches. Two feet and seven inches. So if you're not going to loft your bed, but you just want to raise it as high as possible, um, that looks like it's going to be about two feet and seven inches for storage. Great questions, you guys. Keep them coming. Mm -hmm. So do we know if corner rooms are larger than the rest of the rooms? Usually they yeah. are. Do we have a corner room around that we can I mean, is it? It should be larger. Usually. Um, it should be. We have some handicap um, accessible rooms that are going to be larger, and then we also have some single rooms that are going to be a bit um, smaller, and those are actually usually on the corner. We don't have any um, rooms that are like not handicapped or single, like no traditional double rooms that end up on the corner that are larger, though, if that makes sense. Like okay. if it's if the room is going to be bigger and there's going to be two people in it and it's not a designated single, it, um, it's going to be like marked just as a traditional room and it's not going to be um, on the, the corner. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, like Reed where some rooms at the ends of the hallways are larger or in Gibson where there is a corner room that's just offered as a traditional and it just happens to be larger. Any room that's going to be larger for two people in this space is going to be our handicap accessible rooms and they'll be labeled uh, that way. Perfect. Someone asked if they can bring their own desk chair. They can bring their own desk chair. The only thing that we ask with housing is that if you're going to bring your own desk chair that you um, leave all furniture that you find in the room, uh, that it remains in the room. If it, it, if it leaves the room um, or it's not back whenever you check out in um, like either at the end of the year back in May, um, no matter what, whenever you check out of your space, if it's not there, you will be charged a lot of money. Um, <laughs> so please, please, please keep your furniture in your room just so that it doesn't go missing or damaged uh, or get damaged. Um, but you can technically bring your own desk chair. Yes, yes. Um, since there's a basement, if your room number starts with one, is that the basement or the first floor? That it's going to be the first floor. The basement rooms, um, they start with zero. So it's going to be like room 002, um, 010, 011. Awesome. Any other questions, you guys? Send them our way. About anything. Anything and anything. everything. <laughs> About anything. Let's step back in the room again. Why not? Um, something people often ask about is the big drawers here. Do we want to go ahead and do length width depth of that for people? Yes. So we have one feet two inches deep. One feet two inches. And uh, let's say let's say it's about. 10 inches high and two feet, two inches wide. Perfect. Can someone measure the space above the wardrobe to the ceiling? It's one foot, five inches. One foot, five inches. Abby says hi to you. Hi, Abby. Wait, where's Josie? I think she's saying hi to Josie. My bad. Abby says hi. Hi, Abby. <laughs> Here. Yeah, let's measure pictures. that one. And you can lock it too, in case for privacy. Which is nice. One foot eight inches deep. One foot eight inches. Two feet nine inches wide.
and eight inches high. Wonderful. Pretty sick. Oh, we got another question. Let's see. Should they bring blackout curtains? I mean, <laughs> if you're sleeping you during want. the day, do it. Yeah, do it. Um, I sometimes put my curtains like up so that, like all the light goes up. But you can definitely do curtains. You just use hooks. There's not really like a rail to put a curtain. You would mm -hmm. have to use like this command hook that's left here. Yes. Kind of use something like that. This is like concrete, so definitely something like that. But you can. I don't see a problem with it. Just don't sleep during class. <laughs> yeah, go to class. But blackout <laughs> curtains are great. Yeah, very good. Um, I never, I never had curtains, and I was fine. But again, everyone's different. So. And can we measure the window? That would be good. Measurement man. <laughs> so three feet eight inches wide. Three feet eight inches wide, and um, the window itself, perfect, right there. You're good. thinking about it. <laughs> so someone else, while we're measuring this, asked if they can loft the bed on move-in day. You should be able to. Yes, you should totally be able to. Get everything situated how you want. It's a little over four feet high. Okay, four feet. A little over four feet high. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, we'll rotate back. <laughs> Don't get dizzy, you guys. <laughs> so someone asked if there's laundry on each floor. No. Laundry. Short answer, no. Yeah, no. The uh, laundry, again, is on the basement floor. Uh, again, with the ice machine and everything like that, with all the bedding machines, all that's going to be on the basement, not the first floor basement. Basement floor, yes. Everybody goes there. Zero. So someone's asking about the space between the desk and wardrobe. Um, well, obviously that's going to depend yeah. on where you decide to situate your furniture and yeah. what you want to push up against where. Um, if we want, we can maybe push this up against one and then measure the extra space because obviously no matter what order you do that in, there's going to be some leftover space there. Yeah, you can move anything every, anywhere you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this extra space along the wall you're gonna have eight is eight inches. Keep the questions coming. Um, someone, okay, on the other side of the room. Ah, I see what you're saying. So can we push the desk up against the bed? We're moving things all over the place, you guys. <laughs> Yes, this is 119, so if this is your room, shout out. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, room. Really. Uh, two feet, 11 inches. Two feet, 11 inches. Beautiful. Two fridges right there. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's back to back. Yeah, I think you can only have one fridge, just so you guys oh, know. You can only have one, one fridge in a room. Yes. Um, so you will have to share that with right your there. roommate. You can put a fridge, a little side table for the coffee. I don't know. <laughs> Any other questions, you guys? I think we recovered the laundry thing. Someone said they didn't hear that part. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Josie, do you have anything else you want to say? No, I think we're all covered for the room. Awesome. Someone asked, how wide is the window ledge? How deep, how wide? Let's do both. Depth band. So going all the way across from that wall to the edge right here. It's uh, eight feet, 11 inches. It's eight feet, 11 inches. And then this depth, yeah. It's a foot exactly. One foot, beautiful. Honestly, this is really nice to have maybe have your bed just a little bit higher and have this mm -hmm. built in wall That's spot. Fun. Yes. 
I'm not seeing any other questions. Do you want to talk about lead hogs? Just a little bit? Sure. Yeah, we can talk about lead hogs. Um, so if you're wondering on how to get involved on campus, uh, we have a really great leadership development program called Lead Hogs. You can join at any time. So if you're not sure about signing up now, which the applications are open. So if you're like, yes, I want to do it, um, look up UARC Lead Hogs and, and apply. Um, if you want to join after you come to campus and you're not sure about where to get involved, it's definitely a great place to start. Um, Lead Hogs is essentially you get to meet a bunch of really cool people who also want to do things uh, like plan programs, get to know other students across campus and in your whole community. You have some leadership development programs um, that like or events that we'll have that kind of train you on different stuff. It's really cool. It's a great way to get involved um, and kind of prep you for getting involved in other leadership opportunities across campus that aren't necessarily like even housing or, or lead hogs based. Um, we do volunteer opportunities, a bunch of different stuff. What about you, McKenna? Yeah, I had a great experience. It's also my cute little resume builder. Yeah, it's always good. Definitely. I haven't seen any other questions yet. Woo! Party 119. No, I'm just kidding. Again, we are in Futural. Welcome to York Home Live. If you're just now joining, please ask us questions. We are in a room to measure just for you. Living it up, living it up. Someone asked about the window ledge. We did get that. <laughs> um, let's go back to um, trash, the trash shoe, just real quick, so people know. That this is the elevator. Bagged trash only, but this is nice. On your floor, you have a trash chute to send stuff down. Someone asked, for laundry, is any detergent okay? I would assume so. I Personally, I use pods. Like yes. A little pod that's very helpful. It's easy. You just build a pot or two in there. Uh, they don't really like you to overflow when it comes to detergent or anything like that. Um, but no, I think you can use any type of detergent. I know you can't use, like, the fabric sheets. I thought you could use those. No, I think you're right. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I just forgot what they were called. Me too. <laughs> just I don't remember. Sheet. Little fabric sheets that go in the dryer. You're not supposed to use those, I'm pretty sure. And they really oh, ask for your sheets. Dry sheets. I can not think of that. Um, <laughs> you're also supposed to take out all your little, like, the gray stuff from the dryer. I don't know what these things are called. Okay, yeah. here. So, yes, make sure you take out your life and the gray stuff in the dryer. But pods are highly recommended with laundry. Um, I think it says that on the website. Like, that's what's... Think about it. I think we're back. So right now we're just headed to the front of the building and we're going to walk back to that room we've been at on the first floor. So you can see um, what that looks like. So yes, this is the front, even though it faces... Okay, so we are back at the front okay. desk here. <laughs> I think our connection's back. Um, this is the front of the building. What is the road over there? What's the name of that road? Garland. Garland. So the building does not face Garland. It faces backwards. But we are going to walk straight back to the room we were just at so you guys can see that. Hopefully we don't lose connection again. This would be the stairwell, so again, you go to the floor. But the first floor, you kind of just go down a little. And you just turn here. It's the first floor. Is there ample resident reserve parking? That's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure resident reserve would be the front lot here. Mm -hmm. um, personally, uh, you could do green as well if you don't do the due date for resident reserves. It's very strict in this area. It's not many parking spots around here, uh, but it'd be where the courtyard was, that little lot right there, as two. But Green lot is great too. I was a green lot girl and that was fun as well. Yeah, and this is a female only dorm. Just going to repeat that once again. Um, that doesn't mean you can't have guests. Anyone can come, but <laughs> no boys allowed. Yes, if you identify as female, you live here. <laughs> you can live here. Um, yeah, I think that's so far all the questions. 
Um, but any parking questions, you can definitely contact parking. Yes. Um, housing yes. doesn't really deal with parking that much. Um, so if any specific questions for parking, we're always told to go look at parking and ask parking. And if you want to see more measurements or just around the building more, housing.uark.edu, that's the place to go. You can walk through all the buildings on your own at any time. If you're just joining, we're about to wrap it up, but if you have any dimension questions while we're in the room, let us know. Party, party, we are in futural. <laughs> are there lights on the desk? So here is a desk. The only thing that has the desk is a little cord thing. There's a cord hole. Oh, did you break some? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but no, there's not lights yeah, built horrible. in. You could, though, get um, yeah. some LED, LED strips slide, and put them under there. Screen line, uh -huh. Is that a cork board on the back, too? Is that like a... Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think That's nice. Here, oh, don't. Never mind. Not that kind of cord. I think I see yeah, one so in that, here, though. So. I guess you could. Yeah. I'd be scared, too. But. So there's not lights on the desk. They don't come with lights, but so definitely bring your own. More. How many outlets are in the room? Do we know that offhand? There's yeah. definitely one there. There should be one by each bed. Yeah, one by each bed, mm -hmm. so. Usually. So there should be one around here because this is a desk. There should be one right here. There's one by the desk, so there should be one by this desk. So we'll it looks like four locations, um, but there might be multiple. Like, obviously, this one's two. Uh, definitely buy an extension cord is great, especially if you have a TV. Extension cords. Extension that cords. is something people frequently forget at move in. Our extension cords. Bring those. I use an anchor one because that's for like fast speed charging for like iPhones. So that one's really well if you have like MacBooks and stuff, iPads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. I think we can wrap it up. Right. I don't see any more questions coming in. Well, thank you guys for joining us. This has been New York Home Live 2023, Futural. Say bye. Bye. Oh, wait, <laughs> one more question. Can you use a Wi-Fi booster? Yes, you can. So. Wait, I'll let you answer that. I'm pretty sure I would go ahead and um, like reach out to IT like with the housing website, but you shouldn't need a Wi-Fi booster like individually for your room. You already are offered New York Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, just by signing in with your um, email and password with the university. Um, but I would reach out to Housing IT if you want to do anything like that. Someone asked, can they mount a TV? That doesn't... Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. We have um, rules with putting things on the wall. Um, so you can do like command strips, you can do different kinds of hooks that are uh, approved, um, but you can't drill into these walls or put a mount um, where like any kind of hardware would be inserted into it. It's also yep. like brick, so I'd be I'd be surprised if you <laughs> get through. Um, don't attempt though. Yeah, please. please. Don't attempt. Um, <laughs> just because we don't want to damage our walls, because uh, you will be charged if anything is damaged on the walls. But command strips are really great. They hold a lot. Um, you can get a lot of different kinds. So. Um, yeah. The only thing equated to, I mean, it's not mounting your TV, but I suppose you could set it up here mm -hmm. on top yeah, of your dress, desk. Your dresser here, your yeah. roommate was okay with it. Or your dresser. A lot of people do that. If these were a little short and pocket, I had mine on the dresser. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go now. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. Bye. This has been great.